Alrighty here. I've been hearing... <laughs> well, I haven't been hearing anything really. But, um, uh, I figured this could be helpful for anybody that has been wanting to make thumbnails for their YouTube channel. But also, how to, like, um, like, edit photos, make them pretty. Like, my mom, she wants to know how to use Photoshop so she can make pictures to sell in her Etsy shop. It's a shop she has online over in a website. And, um, so, I'm going to be showing you guys, you, yes, you, you watching, all you watching, yeah, all the X squad and the newcomers. Oh, and the newcomers, feel free to hit that subscribe button. A lot of people haven't been subscribed to my channel, and I've been losing some for making videos that are actually been popular. <laughs> so, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button for your boy. Stay tuned for new FNAF and all that stuff. So, let's just bring a photo from the um uh, the bin up, the bin that's known as my computer. So, we click file and we'll click open, and then when I'm done finding my image, I will be back to show you guys how to edit your photos. Okay, here, so, here we got this Five Nights at Wario's image, right here. Um, we're gonna take this and open up another new file. Alright, we got our middle picture up, now we're gonna take the right pill, we're gonna take our, the, our left picture now. Alrighty here, so, you know what, hold on, let me delete this and, I mean, uh, you know what, we'll, uh, it'll be a good editing tip. All right. So, we got these three images here. Um, oh, crap, on the text tool. Alright, so, this is all gonna be in one video, unless you guys want me to be, want it to be a series, because, um, yeah, I know a lot about Photoshop. I've been using it since last May. Yes, last, like, May, beginning of May, 2019. So I've been making thumbnails for a while, and I've basically almost mastered it, so. We got these three photos standing here. We got the pictures from the seller of FNAF 3, the original, and, um, except for Luigi, I'll show you what we're gonna do with him later, but, we got Wario and Luigi on the left, and, oh, this is the, oh, I have the edited version, hold on, <laughs> okay, so here's the unedited version, we're gonna put the picture in the middle, oh, what did I just do, what? we're gonna put it in the middle, since it corresponds, oh, since it corresponds to where they come from in the night. Oh, except we gotta flop that again. There we go. See? Alright. So, this doesn't matter. You can do it however you want, but there's tabs up here you can click. That, um, uh, are separate Photoshop images. You can take one, drag it into the other. See, it's right here. Control Z to undo all that. And you can repeatedly, or you can just go to edit, click the undo button once you do something like this, for example. Like, here it is. You can click undo move, undo drag layer. It'll just, just yeah. So we'll go back over here, and now we see we um how I made my thumbnail for from the, my pictures for the my Halloween special for FNAF 3. Um, I, I'll teach you all that little bit. Um, I'm I'm gonna teach you all the tools over here first. So we got the move tool, which is this. Oh, convert to normal layer. Oh, oh crap. Um, yeah, let's convert to normal layer, and then we'll put this back where it's supposed to be, and then I'm uh. Um, this should be converted. No, this ain't converted either. Well, let's just do that real quick then. Alright, is this converted? No, it's not. None of these are converted. So, bada boop pow. And now we have our pictures. So, we got the move tool. Um, there's the mouse tool up here. Um, don't worry about the artboard tool. You're never going to use it for thumbnails. Um, uh, there's the move tool, which is just your mouse. So, you can go and click on something to move it. And, I'm um, uh... There's, um, the, um, uh, I'm only going to be showing you the tools necessary on how to make thumbnails, or how I make my thumbnails, so, these are just making shapes and all that stuff, all, all that fancy stuff, and, um, this is a lasso tool, like, say I want to outline Wario, which I'm really bad at, wow, hold on, um, we, we say we want to outline Wario, and we are going to... I don't usually do this, yeah, I'm not going to do it, but you, basically you draw an outliner on him the best you can, and then when you're done, you use the move tool and you'll smack it, like, snap him out of the image, basically, not smack him, sorry. And here's the click selection, selection tool, watch this. Alright, we're going to take the Wario right here, 
just worry. Wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna do this camera button right here. See, when you hover your mouse over the um uh, button, it's gonna highlight it. It's like it's a it's like a Im improvised version of the um what's it called of the of the lasso tool, but it's it's way better. And um, so now that I have it highlighted with the click selection tool, let's go back over to the mouse tool, left click. Look at that. Now we'll take it over here and smack it wherever the freak we want. Right there, see? And I'll show, oh, we could actually do it with this camera button. Hold on, hold on a second. So yeah, we'll, we'll click select, we'll highlight it. We could even zoom in with the zoom tool if we want to get even more detailed with the zoom. I mean, with the, the, the picture snap, as I should call it. Um, okay. The thing, one thing annoying about the um, tool is that it'll sometimes grab the outer image of the button. And it's really annoying, so we're gonna take it. it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna be able to see it. Like, look, it looks exactly the same. So now it's there. Look, we can... Um, okay. So I'll leave this here for now, and we'll come back to it later. So now we've got the crop tool. We're gonna go over to this picture here since we haven't done anything with it yet. And we're gonna crop Luigi out. So to crop, you can do this. You can highlight a certain per. Um, you can left click and hold basically where you want to keep the like the image part of the image you want to keep. Like let's do let's control Z and only do this doorway right here. Oh crap. Um, yeah, let's undo that. And we're gonna highlight the door right here. The this Waluigi's door. Now we're gonna click that. Now it's the only part of the image left. Um, but this isn't really, I don't really use this for anything on how to make thumbnails unless I have like, there's something very petty and annoying. Like say something's down here for example, I could just, oh, oh crap. Um, to redo something you can do shift control Z, but I'd rather just go up here and click um, redo. So, which is right below the undo button. So, um, say there's something small and petty down here I want to take out. Well, we can just do this. Grab these little arrows right here. Boom. Look at that. Look. There, it's gone. So now you can click it, and that part of the image is gone, but there's a problem. The part of the camera is gone, so you may have to, like, strategically, um, or, like, improvise, think with your imagination on where you, how you would set this up. Use your brain. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You do it on your own. And, um... So now, the, um, this tool, I don't use this tool at all, but we got the color droplet tool, which is mainly used for my colorful thumbnails, like, if you, like, le left, left click on a color, it's gonna give you the color up there, or, like, left click on this red outer rim right here, it's gonna give you that dark red color. Or if you go over here, it'll give you a brighter one. Or here, here, it's gonna keep giving you the brighter ones. And you click here, you hit the black, and all that stuff, so. Now we're gonna do this tool patch tool. This is what I may uh, I use this in my thumbnails. So since we have a new camera button that we cropped out from another image, we are going to and my the, my mouse is kind of being annoying. So this is one of the tools I used for the um, that that one video. What I did is I made a circle around the object I wanted to replace. Well, I could actually I can make that smaller cuz it's going to be a little annoying to work around it. So connect it together. You're gonna go to the. You're, you're gonna click on it. On you have to be remember, remember. Sorry, remember you have to be on the layer that like you have to click on layer so zero, which is the layer that this picture is, and drag it out. Now we're gonna replace it with a part of the floor that looks like it could fit. Like there. We're gonna control D. Look at that. I don't even see any. Uh, I can see a little outer rim, but it looks exactly the same. Now we're gonna take the camera button, place it right where that was, control T. Control T is to resize stuff. And if you hold control while you have while, while after you click control T, you can widen the button a little bit. We can shrink wait, shrink it. Right there. See? Look at that. Wait, hold on. Let's make it look. There we go. Look at that. See? Right there, right there. So now we have a new camera button, right there. So you may be asking, how did you remove the timer? Well, I zoomed in with the zoom tool, which is this tool down here. I zoomed up and um, used the patch tool. So we're gonna circle the camera power box. And we're gonna take it out. Oh, we're on the wrong layer. Um, so now we're gonna replace it with a, pl um, a piece 
that doesn't that looks like it would fit. Okay, like there. See? See? And nobody's gonna notice that either. So we'll take the 12 a.m. Do the exact same thing to it. Nobody's gonna see it. Look, it looks exactly the same. And we're gonna carefully. We don't want to touch the camera. Um. Oh crap! I touched it. All right. So let's do it again. Oh. All right. This takes a couple attempts, but um. Yeah. Let's zoom in a little more. This is getting a little annoying. Zoom in as much as you can. If you zoom in too much, you'll get these pixel on a these little pixel on a what's it called boxes here. But a lot of you might not have Photoshop, which severely sucks. But for the people who do have Photoshop, um, um, this will help you a lot. But um, come back to this video when you have Photoshop. I don't know how much views this video is gonna get. It's probably not gonna be popular, like my last video was on Final High Rollers. But anyway, night five. Oh crap! Um, I clicked. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna take it out. Boom! It's gone. Look at this. Doesn't even look like anything's. It doesn't look like anything's changed up there. So now we got our camera button. That's how I deleted that. So let's we can redo all that though. So we got our new camera button and all that stuff. So now we're going to take you down to the pencil and brush tool. This is what I use to paint. Like, let's give Wario an even more glowing purple eye. We're going to take, um, we're going to go to uh, up here, the, the color wheel up here. Like, it gives you all the different colors. We're going to go to purple, like right about there. We're going to drag the cursor to, like, a darkish purple color, like right there. So now we're going to go to our brush tool, which is this right here. And watch this. Wait, we're going to... Click on it a couple times. Look at that. So now we got a purple glowing eye. We'll make this a little fainter too. That way, you know, it looks like it's in the dark. So now, with the shape tool up here, watch this. All right. So I need to make it. Wait, how do I do that again? Oh crap! Did I do this? No. Um. Oh no. But anyway, what I do is I may is so you have a. Um, there, there's an option somewhere in Photoshop. If I find, if I remember, I'll come back to it later in the video. But you can make a circle. It'll f make a filled-in colored circle off the color wheel that you made. You want to Control T it, stretch it all the way down to a line. And if you want to make the Omaiwamu Shindeyu eye, then you can do that there. That's how I did it for some of my thumbnails. Or you could just take the line tool and make an arrow. Uh, no, that wouldn't be that real, that good to be honest. Um, but I don't remember how to do it. Um, I do not remember for the life of me. So, so now that Wario's got his glowing purple eyes, um, we were are gonna I'm gonna introduce you guys to layer masking. Layer masking is something that I love in Photoshop. Love in Photoshop. So. How do we layer mask, you say? I will not gonna teach you how to do it. How to layer mask. So, say we have this photo right here. We want Luigi to be on the right with Wario, and want Luigi to be in the middle with him. So we're gonna go to this image, we're gonna use the mouse tool, drag it into here, we're gonna put Luigi right aligned with the camera. Now, we're gonna click this button down here, which is add layer mask. Oh, hold on, get my steam. One of my friends is playing the game. Um, get that out of the way. Come on, thank you. Now we're gonna click this button, which is select layer mask. And now that we're on that right layer, this is the layer mask. This is the layer. You can click between both of them. This th this clip, pretty sure it keeps them together. But you don't want to do that. I don't. I don't do that at least. So now, see this black and white. The black is going to do this. So you want to go to your brush tool, and you're going to increase the size of it. You want to go up here, the, the, these numbers here, you're going to go up here. You can make um, the the layer mask look bold or soft. You'll, need, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So you want to increase the size. See the little, mercer, the little cursor comes up on the mercer. Um, we're going to increase it a little more. No, a little more. A little, um, a little bit more. Nah. There we go. So now that we got that done, we're gonna do this. Oh, oh crap. I'm, is this the wrong? Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna do this. We're gonna delete a lot of the photo to blend it in. Wait. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna, sorry. 
So, um, we're gonna blend it in. We're gonna stop once we're done touching the doorway. Bam! Look at that. That is layer masking. Now they're both on each side. Or at least it doesn't look like it right now, but we're, once we add this middle frame in... Watch this. Oh, alright. So we're gonna put the... Oh, shoot, what I just do? Um, okay. Shift, control. Um, what I just do? Alright, there we go. So we're gonna control D that down there. Alright, now that we got our button down there. And we're going to take this image, put it in the middle. Right there. Right there. So now we're gonna layer mask again. And do what we did before. Delete a lot of the image except the door. So we're gonna keep. We gotta. Really. Right there. There we go. I gotta do this part over here. And look at that. Okay, we gotta delete some of this so it doesn't look like Wario has the door on his face. Alright. Um. There we go. And wait, what? So. Oh crap, um, there we go, I don't know what I was doing there, Luigi looked transparent there. Alright, so now that we're all in w attacking me at once, which would be completely unfair in the actual game, oh, um, oh, let me do something over here real quick, um, uh, wait, what, what am I doing wrong? Okay, 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 I got it now, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, is it this? Yeah, okay. Gonna do that just barely. There we go. Look at that. Now it looks like they're all in one room, except Waluigi. So we're gonna t open a new file. Give me a second. Bam. There's our picture of Waluigi. So we're gonna take it, put it in our photo. We're gonna delete almost all of the photo except Waluigi. Except. So we're gonna layer mask again, like I already did. Switch back to black and white. When you're deleting the image, if you want white to come back, you can re-layer all that you deleted. So that's what white does. You want to flip between black and white. And don't fiddle with the, um, uh, what am I, what's it called? Um, do not fiddle with the colors. It's going to jack you all up. If you do though, just click here, go to black or white, whatever side you screwed up on, and boom, there you go. So now we're going to take, we're going to delete the whole door on the layer that I'm masking right now and delete it. Except Waluigi. So now we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna delete the rest of that ca the, the camera box right here. So I'm gonna delete that, delete that. So um, yeah, we're gonna delete the bottom portion as well. I'm not using a webcam either because I didn't want to distract you guys from actually learning this. So yeah, um, what's missing? Okay, so we guys we still got some door to delete. All right. Um, Let's shrink in the brush a little bit, because this is going to be a little more detailed. There we go. Look at that. Oh, no, we're not going to do that part. Alright, so be careful, be careful. Okay, there we go. So now we can delete that. Look at that. Look at this. They're all coming from the same sides. Now wait, let's look at Waluigi's picture real quick. Yeah, look at that. Exactly the same. See, they're all in my room now. Now, if you want to make a cool looking thumbnail like me, we're going to take the patch tool. Dude, we're gonna delete the button that I showed you guys earlier. Go to layer, whatever. Wait, what, wait, which layer would this be? Maybe I should have deleted the button before. Well, let's pretend this button is not here. Seems I encountered some problems. Um, I should have did all that before <laughs> putting them all in the photo, but it's no big deal. We'll just pretend that in here or that thing down there. And now I'm gonna show you the rest of the tools in here. There's the paintbrush tool, I don't use this. There's the eraser tool, which just erases stuff basically. Like, look at Waluigi right now. Look at, so we're gonna uncontrol Z that. There's the paint bucket tool, let's just go over to Wario's clothes real quick and pick a color from the wheel over there. Click on the paper bucket tool, and bam. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wrong layer. Um, bam. Oh, sometimes it screws up because the lighting is weird on, on a certain photo, but look, I made the outer rim of the camera purple. But that's cool. Yeah, we can actually do, um, do that. Let's do that. Right there. Look at that. And then we'll do it for Luigi's over here. Oh, oh crap. I'm right here. Right here. And right here. We're gonna keep clicking it until the whole bar is full. Alrighty here. 
So, now that the layer is purple and actually looks fun, <laughs> um, we're gonna, wait, there's a little dot right there I missed. It's gonna be really, wait, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, hi Luigi, you don't scare me no more. Alright, um, so now we're going to go right here. Oh crap, alright, let's try this again. Oh no. Alright. Clicking on a layer multiple times will increase the thickness of the layer. And when you zoom out, it's barely noticeable. So, now that we got that done, we're going to go... Um, th this is the dodge tool. Let's look at Wario over here. I oversized this brush to death. Look at Wario over here. So the dodge tool... Oh wait, what is this? Yeah, th this is the sharpen tool. Like, wait, blur tool does this. We're going to ma mega size this. And if you guys notice, look at Wario over time. He's blurry. This is not what I use for my thumbnails, however. I will use it sometimes if I have a good idea for it, but he's blurring out the more I put blur on him. And we're going to make him normal again, and now we're going to sharpen him. We're going to make him look crispier. Crispy, you know what I'm saying? Notice his change over time. Look how he looks more creepier. Look how creepy that is. You can make a legit horror from like that. Let's do it with Luigi now. We're gonna sharpen Luigi now. I doubt it's gonna do anything with him. Oh no, actually it's doing pretty... Oh, look at that. Look how creepy that is. Look. Oh, I should've used this for a thumbnail. See? You get ideas. It's really fun to play with Photoshop. Look at this. I'm gonna do it with Luigi's hat now. Keep doing it. It looks like a corruption. It looks like coronavirus if it was a physical human being. I shouldn't have put that... I shouldn't have said that. Now I'm gonna get freaking... I'm gonna get in trouble. So now we're gonna do it for Luigi. Let's see how this photo looks once Waluigi is all destroyed. So we're gonna take Waluigi. I figured Fanal would be a good topic. Um, I mean a good example for this video because you all love Fanal. You all you all love my Fanal videos. Now actually we're gonna go into detail here and just do Waluigi's face or chin. We're gonna do his chin. But that's it. Make him look like he's a demon. Look at that. I mean they are demons. Look at that. And we're going to corrupt his hat a little bit as well. We're going gonna to give him the, the corrupt hat. Look at that. See? Look at that. They're all creepy. Wario looks like he actually got his face burn off. And there's a little green around his purple eye. It makes him look creepier. And um, now there's the smudge tool. Um, I really don't know what this does. But um, uh, I, really don't, I really don't know what this does at all. But um, uh, yeah, it's a really cool, f fun thing to do. You can make creepy images out of here. I personally think Luigi's the creepiest. And now we're going to go to the dodge tool. The dodge tool. Um, what's the dodge tool? I forgot what the dodge tool does. Um, oh, it brightens something. It, it like brightens an image, a part of an image up basically. Like look how brighter the basement's becoming the more dodge I put on it. Like look at the shade. It's all coming, becoming brighter. So, yeah, we're going to take that down, and now we're going to use the burn tool. The burn tool will make something darker. Hold on. We can put it on Wario, and as you can see, his clothes are getting darker. The more times I click, the more darker he gets. And we're not going to fiddle with that, though. So, And there's the sponge tool, which just gives him a completely, weirdly different color. And I'm not really going to fiddle with that. So, um, Then there's this tool. It's the pathway tool. I do not know how to use this at all. So, don't worry about that. Um, now the text tool. This is a big part in my thumbnails. Now, I have a lot of fonts installed on my computer. And um, I can try and link some of them in the description if I don't forget. For you guys to download. And um, I'll even have a separate video on how to install fonts if you guys would like. So, we're going to ch choose the mitochondria. Um font and we're gonna increase the font size by going up to follow my mouse we go up here to the 36 pt or points as i learned in school so i already knew that anyway but yeah the school brewer had to retash me on that and now we're gonna go to 48 which will make the size bigger and we're gonna type in five nights oh the text is black we're gonna put this over every other layer that way it's seeable no matter what so you can fiddle with layers, you can um, like put them on top of each other, it's really a big thinking process. But 
put it on top of all the layers and now everybody can see your text. So we're gonna delete this real quick since it's not useful. And five, oh, it's in black font. Um, well, actually, we'll live with that. Five nights at Wario's. You guys may remember this um, font from my Return to the Factory playthrough. Wario's free thumbnail. Wait, no. Yeah, we'll do thumbnail test. Alright, now we're gonna, you know, space it out in the middle to make it look like it's an official name. And now, I'm gonna show you how to fiddle with um, uh, font editing. So, we, we see how it's black, right? But we want to make it at least seeable, but also still black. So, follow my mouse. We're gonna go over to the layer that has Science of Wario's thumbnail test on it. Right click on it. Go up here to blending options. And we got all this stuff right here. B level and gloss. This makes it look um, a little better overall. Like you get what I'm saying. It gives it like a like a thick vibe to it, like a thickness vibe to it. You can fiddle with the um uh, the size of the level and gloss um em emboss. That's what it's called. You can make it almost transparent. You can make it barely transparent. You can make it, oh my gosh, as big as you want, like this, for example. Yeah, we'll do that. that that's perfect right there. And we, you can soft, you can um, uh, soften it, make it look like it's not even there, but we're going to put it back on 4 since that's what I liked about it. And contour and texture really doesn't do anything other than give it like a staticky looking look. Like here, I'll go to texture and scale it. Um, it's really hard to see on this text, Just it just messes with the black but we're gonna take a uncheck mark that and then stroke this gives it a black or white outline now we're gonna make that outline as skinny as we can now actually we're gonna make it gray we're gonna you, you just click on the color box right here and boom it's gray now we're gonna increase the size right here and now if you guys wanted to make it look extra fancy you can click control J which will duplicate the layer down here and you want to go to the top layer and you want to change the color to white and you or whatever color you want click OK we're gonna zoom in um, lift it up make it back a little bit um, you got oh, actually we're gonna make that gray a little brighter so you guys can see it um, a little brighter like like that there we go see doesn't that look cool doesn't that's how I make my um, text, basically. Um, it may be a little exposed because the size was a bit jacked up. I can probably fix that. Give me a minute. Um, there we go. Look at that. See? Look at this. See? So now it has a background layer on it. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah, man. Um, it's really cool. So um, we can also widen the text if you want. By control T, you can widen it like this. Put it right there. Do it with the same layer. See if it will work. And then we're gonna try this again. Boom! Look at that. It worked perfectly. Oh, I gotta. Hold on. I actually gotta. Boom! There we go. Now it worked. So we got our text now. We got our spoopy-looking thumbnail going. And um, now I'm gonna teach you how to do the hue and saturation or um, uh, gradient adjustment layers. So right by the layer mask button down here, we're gonna go all the way back down to layer zero. And we're gonna click create new and we're gonna go to vibrance. Vibrance basically does this. It makes, oh wait, oh crap. Um, you guys can see because I gotta put this all the way at the top, not the bottom, derp. And it's not gonna affect the text, but it will affect um, the people on the screen. So we're gonna go to vibrance, Blending, wait, no, not blending options. Um, see, you want to go over here to the right, and boom, you can make it go. This is what Vibrance does. You can make a cool 1950s looking thumbnail with them all freaking screwed up still. You can make it barely like that. Or you could do this and make it completely green and make it look like kind of like the Return to the Factory. We'll keep it like that. And we can increase it more to make it look more like saturated or down to make it completely 1950s looking, but we're gonna keep it like this because I like this. And, um, so that's what Vibrance does, so we'll keep that. Um, some I'm not, um, then there's Hue and Satch, you know, this is a tutorial video, I gotta delete this.
you guys can try it on your own if you want. But, um, so now we're going to go back up to the top, create hue slash saturation. Now hue basically changes the whole color of the picture if you want to make it, like, you know, your own thing. But I keep it the same. Saturation makes it look like that, like a deep fried meme basically. And, um, uh, yeah. And the lightness, it makes it bright or it makes it super dark. Which I really don't know how I do that. I don't. I, I think I've done that once in my thumbnails for my YouTube. So we're gonna delete that layer. We're gonna go down here. There's color balance, which is just oh look, you can change the color, like literally, like you can make this look like it's a blue night well, n n n night camera and mix the colors up, create your own thing, all that kind of stuff. So you can even change the outline color of the layer. So now we're gonna go back down here, go to black and white, and you guys already know what this does. Look how creepy that looks. You see that, guys? This is cool. This is why I made this video. Look how cool this looks. It just... It sparks. Holy crap, this is old. Well, this game does take place in, like, the 80s. Or probably 90s, because it's FNAF free. But, um... Look at that, see? You can do all kinds of stuff. This is how I make my thumbnails. Um... What's it called? Um... Um, there's brightness and contrast. You can down the up the contrast or down it, make it look more, you know, spoopy looking or make it look brighter. Whatever you want to do it. Um, brightness is literally brightness. Like you can make it look more seeable, or you can just completely darken it, make it look more creepy. And um, I'm gonna delete that, and then we'll go. I think the last one. Uh, yeah, photo filter and all that stuff doesn't really do anything. Then there's one more thing I want to show you guys. Before we end the video, because this is literally all I use for thumbnails, I go to select. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, I go to filter. Follow my mouse. It's on the. It's right here. We're gonna go up here. Filter. We're gonna go to blur. We're gonna go to Gaussian blur. So now, um, we're gonna blur the image. You see how Wario is normal at first? Well, they're all combined into one thing, so it's only gonna affect Wario. But I'll try to make the same with all also the other things so I mainly use the blur I'll take a picture and just blur the image as background like say I'll blur this or like like I'll do this or blur it like that and then I'll put text in the front like say this whole picture got you know blurred and I'll put text in the front making it look like a background so that's cool and I'm uh, actually let me open up the seller picture real quick and I'll show you guys hold on guys now we have my empty, normal, non-night non vision camera cellar picture. So we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to blur it like that, or that. Now we're going to put text. Um, we'll make it white this time since the black kind of, we did black last time. Guide on how to, to beat FNAF. Freeze. Wait. <coughs> Fana. I don't have coronavirus, don't worry. <laughs> Find some Wario's free. Freeze. Seller. See? Now we're gonna, um, send to that. We're gonna control T. Or if you guys wanna just make it, um, the, 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 the text bigger, you can, you know. Yeah, control T. And then make it as big as we can. Um, make it fit on the picture a little bit, strengthen it. There we go. And um, so what's it called? I put on the stroke. I can do this. I fiddle with a lot of stuff for making my text. Like I'll just click on random things until I get something wrong. Oh yeah, and there's outer glow too. I forgot to tell you, show you guys outer glow. Look, it glows. The outer image will glow like this. Make it look all spirit-like, and if you increase the noise, it looks all static like the FNAF game, so I'm going to keep it like that. And you can put range on it, which does this, apparently. And, um, there's the spread, make it bigger or smaller, the size, make it as big as we want or down. You guys can basically fiddle with that yourself, but, yeah. So we're going to keep it like that. See? There we go. Right there. How Guide on how to beat FNAF Freeze Cellar. Boom, and then look, the seller's in the background, all blurry, making it look like a background image. Isn't that cool? So now we're going to delete this whole thing. And now we're back here again, and with all these other leftover pictures. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, 
I can't think of anything else really that I missed or um, I would probably show you guys. And if you guys have an image that you brought off the internet for a part of your thumbnail and you get something where it's not editable, you want to go to image up here, mode, and you you might get an indexed um, picture. You want to swap it over, over to RGB color, click it, and it'll give you a warning, be like, okay, this will be editable, and you click yes. So, bam. Thank you guys so much for watching this Photoshop tutorial on how, how I make my thumbnails for YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to leave the thumbnail up for the rest of the video. This one I only made. I'll see you next time. X out, X squad. See y'all later.